Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are talking about how AMC should be $32, $140 billion shorts created, and how shorts never closed and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end. Straight away, we take a look at this. The intrinsic value of one AMC stock under the base case scenario is $37.53. Compared to the current market price of $4.53, AMC Entertainment Holding is undervalued by 88%. So if we take a look at the value for AMC right now, it's given by algorithms, given by statistics of what it is right now for AMC. It's saying for the very base case is that AMC should be at least 37.53. Now, bear in mind that this is considered with the fundamentals of AMC, with the long-term projections of AMC. This isn't including the squeeze potential. This isn't including if shorts have to cover billions of synthetics. And just talking about the reflection of the value of AMC right now is that it should be at least $37. And again, way higher than that as well. This is the very minimum. And what we are right now is undervalued by 88%. And so what's interesting is obviously we have the earnings coming up right now. Now, the earnings coming out right now is very important because then we'll have an understanding of even how undervalued we are. Remember that the earnings can change the intrinsic value, the base case for AMC to push it up even higher. And so therefore we understand right now with the current price of AMC, it truly is just a reflection of the corruption, the manipulation and the suppression that is in the market to show that a stock that should be worth $37 is only at where we are right now of $4.67. Now, furthermore, what we can see is this. Why am I excited about the AMC earnings call? Well, because I want to know how good my company is doing. Am I expecting something with the price? I never do. Been here too long to know that it's manipulated. I'm excited for the growth of my company. That's it. Now, this is a very good point because, again, the earnings is very, very important for AMC, like we talked about here. Firstly, the earnings can show us what the base value for AMC is, allows us to understand the suppression that's happening to AMC right now, understand how undervalued we are, but also allow us to understand how, how big of an opportunity, how big of a potential AMC has by investing into AMC. But furthermore, it's just very important to understand just the long-term projection of AMC. Again, AMC, if a company becomes more profitable, if the company, again, increases revenue, if the company is able to make more money then it will stay in the game and that ultimately is the most important point for amc as long as amc doesn't go bankrupt shorts are and will always be trapped and they will then have to pay back the price they will have to cover the shorts and they will have to pay us the thousands of dollars for per share of amc that we own and so that's why it's very important but it's also to note is that even despite the earnings tomorrow, whether it's good or bad, you have to understand if the earnings is to be good, there isn't going to be any massive points on the price because it's in the hedge fund's interest to always keep the price down, to suppress the price down. You guys can see here, oh look, the day before earnings, they magically found 2.2 million shares. Yeah, sure you did, LMAO. What we can see right now is, again, the shares available to borrow to short against AMC. And you can see how magically now we've gone up from Again, the range of a million to 1.1 all the way up to 2.2 million shares right now. And this is all prepared for what's about to happen. Bear in mind is that even if AMC were to show an extremely good earning, so even if they were able to suddenly make 50 or 100 million in profit, yes, it will attract investors. Yes, it will give confidence to the investors. But what you have to understand is that the shorts will want to suppress as much as possible of AMC price. And we can see that with the sudden increase in shares available to borrow. And bear in mind, this is what we can see in the surface. This is only the tip of the iceberg. What we've already talked about is again, the 404 million shares that's hidden in options in locates in which the SEC has shown us. We've also seen it in terms of offshore shares of FTDs. And so there are just so many more ways that they can suppress AMC and this right now whilst 2.2 million is already a lot it's a massive increase from 900,000 to 2.2 million is only the tip of the iceberg but that very fact 
the very fact that they need more shares, the very fact they need to suppress AMC shows the threat that we pose towards these hedge funds, shows the threat that we have against them. And that's why they want to continuously suppress the price of AMC. You can also see, just look at the RSI. It's crazy how long they've been able to manipulate the stock to keep and keep it pinned down. Such blatant corruption, all explained and proven by apes total clown show well, we've seen that rsi for a very long time to be um extremely low for amc and you guys can see here below 30. now this itself should show you and give you an understanding of the price of amc and again this is just to show firstly when you take a comparison of the rsi and obv you know that right now being oversold is not because of the fact that people are selling and we know that from the obv we know that the investors of amc have continuously been staying in amc the reason why we're seeing amc rsi to be such a low value is due to the constant shorting is due to the constant spoofing that is done by the these hedge funds by these short sellers by these institutions that are out there and that very fact shows the corruption there is in amc here and you can see why they are doing this and what we have right now is news goldman sachs securities so not yet purchased raised from 110 billion dollars to 250 billion dollars in one year now this is an increase of 140 billion dollars what's interesting is the fact that they have continuously spoofed amc in this last year and what they have right now is the increase in security sold not yet purchased so going back to this going back to the rsi continuously being at such a low point we're seeing many firms who have been shorting amc to all see an increase in their securities sold not yet um but purchase in their securities um sold and what we have right now is a very clear confirmation that the short who are, have been shorting amc who are shorting amc is continuing to short amc is continuing continuing to increase their position and that's why this very rsi that we are seeing right now isn't because retail investors are panicking, are feeling scared and are selling. That is not the case. It is because of the short sellers out there that are suppressing and manipulating the price. Furthermore, what we can see is this from Ian, shorts never close. What we're seeing right now is this particular screenshot, which is the buying activity of traders with large short positions in GameStop. Now, what you guys have to understand is that the buy volume from these short sellers isn't the blue bar it is the red bar the red the tiny red bar that you guys are seeing down here is the short seller buy volume so this is a clear example and a clear data showing that the shorts never close now this is of course for gamestop but we know the same applies for amc as well and so it's very important to understand that again Shorts are increasing their position, wherever it's Goldman Sachs, wherever it's Virtue, wherever it's City, all of these people are increasing their short position. And we know that, we've seen that from data. This isn't just a trust me, bro. This is from the filings that have been um, public that we can see and you guys can go take a look for yourself. This, all, this data is also something you guys can go and research. And this shows the fact that firstly, they quote unquote covered they quote unquote bought back all their shorts but when you look at the buy volume in comparison to the total buy volume in terms of the short seller buy volume in comparison to the total buy volume you can see that it's tiny and you know that that isn't the all the shorts that they've bought back and so the answer is has always been the same shorts have never bought back the shorts but only increase their short position. And so this again just shows you and lets you understand how big of a situation it is and why they continuously try to suppress AMC. Furthermore, if we take a look at the reverse repo, what we're sitting at right now is $519 billion for the reverse repo. So again, a big decrease in the money available for the short sellers for these head funds. You guys can see a correlation right now as the reverse repo goes down, what we're seeing is how shorts are trying to increase their position. The reason for this is because if they don't have the money available in the future, then the best thing they can do right now is suppress the price of AMC as much as possible. 
but what we have to understand that this is a double-edged sword yes they can pile on and double down right now and bring the price of amc down but bear in mind is that in the future at any point if the algo were to mess up if amc were to suddenly see an increase in investors and the price surge up anything that just even breaches the margin requirements of these short sellers who are doubling down on these positions will easily get margin called will easily default and get liquidated and that's what we're looking out for anyway guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time